Yo, what is up guys? Issa here bringing you guys my first ever Epic 7 video and we got my little brother is on. Yeah, my little brother is on. Anyways, I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide today, updated 2021 uh, beginner's guide. So we're going to be going over a lot of stuff. I've been playing this game for around, I'd say like 15 days now or 15, 16 days. So yeah, I've been playing for 16 days now. And I've learned quite a bit starting from the game. I've made a quite a bit of mistakes and hopefully I can help you guys correct those mistakes if you guys are going to start the game or are currently trying to re-roll on this account. The first thing you guys want to do when you start the game is when you go to your selective summons, let's go to summons right here. You're going to have a, a lot of options for summoning. You're going to have a lot of different five stars and the five stars I suggest, strongly suggest you guys go with is cigarette go with cigarette re-roll for her and if you're not able to get her the first time you have 30 attempts to try to get her um your first re-roll and if you don't get her the first time what you can do to reset your account and start again because it only takes 10 minutes to re-roll your account so all you need to do is go here go to your settings and then reset the server that's all you need to do and you can start right away and now with the current game now you get to summon around one chapter one four which is really really early so it's super quick you're going to get through it no problem after you beat chapter one four you're going to be able to summon and you're going to go right to those nice selective summons other reroll options that we can go over that if you don't really want to go with cigarette um you can go with vildred vildred is a very strong option uh i didn't go with him i actually went with cigarette for my reroll option because right now there's something called wyvern hunt so if you go to battle right here and we go to hunt wyvern hunt which is the first hunt is the fire element type and ice is very strong against fire and cigarette actually does an amazing job of debuffing this dragon and really just crushing this hunt in general because you're going to be getting this amazing gear right here and potential drops of critical set hit set speed set gear the main thing is speed in this game so you're going to hear this a lot i mean not only in my guide but you're going to hear in other epic 7 videos everyone talk about speed speed gear is literally the best gear in the game um it's the most needed gear in terms of in uh, pvp because speed pretty much determines whether you go first or your opponent goes first and typically if you're going first that's a pretty good sign of who might win in that sort of matchup so yeah speed set is extremely important and so i really suggest you guys um later on this is much more late game grinding out like wyvern 13 wyvern 11 um it's more of like a mid to late game thing you're going to be doing but that's why you need cigarette she's going to really help you out with that stage and crush it now going over adventure Adventure is an amazing way to get Sky Stones, this currency that we see right here. Now, with Sky Stones, you can actually use them to summon... Uh, with Sky Stones, you can use them... Oh, my God. Now, with Sky Stones, you can use them to convert them into Covenant Bookmarks, which are used to summon. Now, if we go... Let's go right to Chapter 1. Starting from Chapter 1, this is the main story, right? You're going to have 10 chapters and you're going to have these other little um, sort of sub chapters. I'm going to call them like the 3S, 5S. These are all places where you can just easily grind out some more sky stones and get more rewards. You get a lot of good stuff from there. And just going back here, you can, you're you going to notice that there's region rewards. Every area provides region rewards. And by 100% completing the area, getting all the stars... You're going to be getting an extra 50 sky stones. So I would suggest you saving them up and I'm going to go over what you should use your sky stones on, like what kind of banners. We're going to cover all that, um, this guide, but yeah, I mean, you really want to do this. You really want to get this done because with an adventure mode, you also get an additional 50 sky stones on certain stages. And you get more sky stones. You get more covenant bookmarks, five covenant bookmarks is equivalent to one summon so that is really valuable you want to really save those up and not just blaze through them right in the beginning and don't just summon whatever the heck you want really be careful with that because you're going to fall into like this downward spiral of just constantly summoning like singles maybe doing three or four pulls and potentially not get anything which may be really really frustrating 
But yeah, I would only like mainly focus on summoning on sl on these limited banners. Limited banners is what you want to summon on. When it comes to drop rate ups, it just depends on the unit. So I I think in terms of drop, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on like just units to go for in terms of like PVE content, PVP content all that stuff because I'm still progressing through the game and I'm still learning as I go. Um, today I was able to get like over 50 or 60 bookmarks, which is equivalent to like 12 summons just today. And it was so easy for me to do. I just needed to use my sky stones and I'm going to go over how I do that in a separate video. But yeah, just going to cover like the bare bones of everything today. So yeah, so we have adventure now, which I just covered right now. Now let's go right into battle. Now, battle, you're going to see this side story right here, and you're going to be doing this a lot. Late game, mid game, like throughout the, throughout your whole game, you're going to be doing these side stories, and you're going to be able to do these side stories to get really, really awesome rewards, such as this side story is offering these uh, this equipment set, which is really, really nice, and this artifact. And if we go here to album, um, you saw that I completed this whole album by grinding. I pretty much farmed out a, st a specific stage. You have to use these currencies to grind this out to unlock this whole album and you can get these rewards you guys can see i got 15 covenant bookmarks like that's amazing 15 covenant bookmarks and a bunch of other things like charms runes gold the runes isn't as important um more so like the catalysts and also the bookmarks are really important and the artifact so you can get even more summons from here uh, this is um, an amazing way to uh, grind out uh, really useful things. And then you, after you complete main story, you're going to unlock this unrecorded history, which is side story. I strongly suggest you complete this because you're going to be able to complete these challenges right here. So we're going to go right into this little tab with the, with the girl right here, with the circle with the girl. And you're going to see all these different challenges that we need to do and all these amazing rewards that we can get. So, so you can see I get 200K gold here. A Giga Phantasma, which I'm going to explain what these guys do later. And if you start going towards the end of here, you're going to start seeing that we're getting even better stuff. We're getting like four to five star hero summons. We're getting a guaranteed five star somewhere here, right? Like right around here, guaranteed five star artifact summon ticket, five star hero summon ticket. Like you're getting a lot of great stuff. And then at the end, you get these gold transmit stones, which these guys can be used to go here. So if you go to shop, only use your trend, your gold transmit stones to convert them into galaxy bookmarks because you're able to get some really rare moonlight characters, which these are some of the best characters in the game in general. Don't ever use them on the four to five hero summon ticket because they're just trying to yeet you real quick um, for a quick summon. You want to really get that Moonlight Summon and get one of those characters because you may have a chance to get a Moonlight 5-star or even a really good 4-star character. So that's really, really um, just, just optimal. Now, in terms of Silver Transmit Stones, you might see these guys pop up and you're going to get those. You're going to be like, what the heck does that do? These guys, all you need to think about here is getting Molagoras in this game. Get your two Molagoras for the week by using these Silver Transmit Stones. Don't use them on any of these stuff here. I don't suggest it at all. You're going to get all this stuff just progressing through the game, through other through other methods as well, which I'm going to explain. You don't really need to worry about that at all. Just worry about the Molagoras because this is the most important resource in this game. It is the hardest resource to come by. And once you get all that new, new player Molagoras out of the way, they're gone. It's going to be a long time since you get a lot of Molagoras. Now going into Arena now, this is your PvP. This is going to be another one of your best friends because if you can't actually fight anyone here and someone, let's say like for me, like, oh, um, these teams are too powerful for me, for me to fight. You can actually reset it for free every like, I think it's every eight minutes and I'll be like, okay, nice. I can actually fight this person. Um, but at the beginning, it's going to be really tough in PvP because you're not going to be able to progress really fast and win a lot of matches because a lot of people are going to have really, really stacked teams max six star teams so you have to be careful with who you challenge you don't want to waste these flags um, if you can't really battle anyone just use them on npc challenge because you can actually get sky stones from here so you guys can see like you can get sky stones from here and you get these conquest points 
which are really, really awesome. And I'm going to explain what they do. So once you get your Sky Stones, and let's say you, you finish up your PvP for the week, every week your rank will reset. So look at the rewards you get here. Every week, if you progress in PvP, and if you even, even if you're getting bronze, right? Even if, like, okay, you get bronze 3, right, at the end of the week, you're going to get an option to select between Mystic Metals or Sky Stones, and always go with Sky Stones. Mystic Metals, there's an amazing method to get them. Um, there's a lot of ways to get them. I'm going to do lots of separate, separate videos because there's so much to talk about. But at the end of the week, your first week of playing, you're going to get your weekly rank reward, and I always suggest going with Sky Stones. Just save them up. And uh, I'm going to tell you what you can use them towards. So yeah. Now, talking about those conquest points from Arena that you're going to be getting. Now, if you go to shop, you're going you're to be going to shop a lot. There's a lot of stuff for shop. You don't really need to buy any of this stuff, guys. Like You can stay free to play. Um, the only thing I would suggest to buy if you were to get anything from the shop is maybe the monthly packs. Um, I, I got this monthly pack, which is $5, and you get, what, like 200 Sky Stones right away, and then every day you get an additional 30 Sky Stones every day, and you get extra experience. And this really helps with leveling your characters and overall just saving up Sky Stones for um, your summons that you want to do, like for a specific character, limited banner, whatever it is. So save your Sky Stones. Now, once I go to the shop, you're going to see Conquest Points, you're going to see Ancient Coins, don't even worry about that, but let's talk about conquest points first. Conquest points, you're going to get a lot of these in PvP. There's going to be a lot of ways you can get them in this game, but PvP is the main way you're going to get conquest points. Now, if we go here, we're going to see Molagoras. Um, you can get this every week. I haven't gotten mine for the week, but definitely get the Molagoras. I wouldn't really use it on energy unless you're super desperate for energy, but what I would use your conquest points on is this season gear now this gear is pretty much gear that's on sale and it's level 88 gear and, and insanely good gear so now you can use you can get this gear from the conquest shop save up up to 1200 conquest points for one of these pieces because they're extremely powerful and you can use them on pvp they're going to help you in uh, pve hunts really strong boss fights these this gear is really good um this is a counter set doesn't matter though because this gear is super strong so might as well get it so save up and get these pieces here for a full really nice gear set and then you're going to have these boxes here with other season gear um, i really like this victory uh season gear a lot because it's speed so this is always really really good check it out but it's really it's pretty expensive like 1800 but once again like the longer you play this game you're going to be getting so much conquest points and honestly this is a game of patience so just be patient and you can also get charms from here. I don't really suggest it because I think it is a waste of these conquest points. You want to really only use them on the, these gear pieces. I think that's the best thing to use them on. Or on energy if you're really, really low. And yeah, that's the conquest point shop. Now let's go to Sanctuary. You're going to see Sanctuary. Once you're playing through Adventure, you're going to unlock this thing called Sanctuary. You're going to be like, what is this? Now, the main thing you want to be concerned about is the Heart of Orbis. Heart of Orbis is pretty much how you get your passive Sky Stones and your gold income. Now, I really suggest you start upgrading number three, uh, but first start by upgrading this first one. The middle one obviously allows you to generate 3,000 gold and 0.75 Sky Stone every hour. So you're just overall upping the amount of Sky Stone and gold you generate. So that's, that's super, super necessary. And then once you go here, you're going to be allowed to store more gold and sky stones. This is really nice. Maybe go for a single or a double upgrade if you want. And then make sure you're getting this benedictory sanctum because you have a chance to get 200% additional rewards, which is really, really nice. So at some certain times, you might be getting like 15 sky stones. So that's amazing. So this is your passive income. Just let it, it just pretty much let it marinate and it's going to build up and you're just going to receive the rewards and yeah. It's nice. Now, the Force of Souls is super important because you can actually make Phantasma from here. Um, when it comes to improving the building, make sure you're getting the first, the, the middle one done first. Make sure it's 3 3 because you're going to be able to make three of these guys right here. Now, 
when it comes to time blessing, which is decreasing the amount of time it takes, I don't think this is as essential as potentially this one right here. Um, cause I'm, I may actually reset this for now or just grind out more breath of Orbis to get this to three, three, because having a chance to get a two star penguin or like just higher star penguins is great because you can use these penguins to sell for a lot of gold. And so you see these YouTubers with like millions of gold. It's because they're selling penguins as well. Um, they're, they're going here and they're selling penguins or they're using some of their stigma to quickly grind out some penguins and just sell them. And they get you get a quite a bit of gold out of that, and you also make these phantasma, which I'm going to talk about quickly right now. Um, after I'm done talking about sanctuary, all right. So let's go to high command. Now in high command, the main thing you want to concentrate on is hunt mission and war mission, because once again, war mission we're getting these amazing conquest points that we also get from PvP, but we get them a little faster, and we're also getting experience for our units by doing this way. We're also getting experience for four units by doing this. Um, so you can always go with different options. There's different time ranges here. Select which one you're going to do. If you're going to play the game a lot more, like let's say you're going to play for two hours straight, just do the 30 minute option because you get to constantly reset it and get more experience. And you guys can check here that I have my, con that I have my high command going. I have my units here and they're all getting XP. You, you guys can see plus 10% all nice and you guys can see here again gaining XP very very nice now don't really worry about this yet I'm gonna cover this in a whole separate video um, but the main thing is concentrate on heart of Orbis force of souls in the beginning and high command make sure to do your uh, your war and hunt missions that's really important and once again, talking about ancient coins, just to quickly go over that, because I did mention doing hunt missions. Welcome. Ancient coin shop is super simple. Literally just use them on ring and necklace charms, nothing else. These are really important to upgrade your ring and your necklace equipments. And friendship, you're going to get by, you're going to get a lot of friendship bookmarks. I really suggest you guys use them daily on your 40 energy that you can get and your five PVP flags. Just once again, it's just, it's just nice. It's extra grind that you can do without having to spend your leafs, which is these guys for your energy. Try not to spend them that much or even your sky stones. Try to conserve as much energy as you can. And yeah. Now guilds. When you're a new player, it took me so long to get into a guild. It took me so long. I, was, I kept on applying every day, just praying that someone would accept my application into a guild. And they finally freaking did. And it was nice. So going here, you get your daily rewards here, which gives you these, these guys right here, which is these Brave Crests. And you can use these Brave Crests in the member shop. You can use them here to to get Molagoras, which is awesome. You can actually also get these guys, these Commander Armaments, and get Gold Transmit Stones. And even uh, these awesome five-star artifacts, which is really, really nice. Or you can save up enough Brave Crest and get Terra Phantasmas, which is really nice because you get one a month. So that's always very nice. And you got your weekly missions where you can get grind all these guys out and get these extra awards. Now the donate, you get extra honor coins and proof of courages, which is nice. And then you can aid your teammates right here. Like I'm, I'm requesting Twisted Fangs here. And if someone pretty much gives me something, right, I get extra Brave Crests from that, which is really nice. And now I was talking about those Mystic Medals before for summoning. We have a couple different summons. We have these Mystic Summons where we can get this Moonlight 5-star character. It's a Moonlight because it's a Moon character. And you have some Light characters here, but this is another Moon character, Moonlight 4-star really amazing ones right here and in order to do these in order to do these summon ho oh, oh, i cannot talk in order to do this summon we need these mystic metals mystic metals right there and how we can get a lot of them is pretty much by doing guild wars right so we go to battlefield and we can do guild wars so right now a guild war is happening right now 
where two guilds go against each other and you guys pretty much duke it out. You battle it out. And whichever guild wins pretty much gets the larger amount of rewards, which is very, very nice. And that's pretty much it. It's really nice. And this is how you get your, a lot of your uh, your mystic summons. And you can see, like, you know, you can you can fight this person or whoever's here. But yeah, that's, that's Guild Wars in a nutshell. Now, you have a secret shop over here. I'm going to do a whole separate video on secret shop because I think this is an amazing way to get a lot of covenant bookmarks and mystic medals for your summons. Um, like, for example, the more you refresh this, at a certain point, you're going to be getting a lot of bookmarks. And so for me today, I refreshed the shop. Like, I think I, I refreshed a couple hundred sky stones. So it's like 500 sky stones. And I got 50 bookmarks, 50 covenant bookmarks, which is essentially 950 sky stones worth of summons. So I pretty much saved myself like 450 sky stones instead of buying it from, you know, using this method, going to the shop and normally converting them. You know what I mean? Like, like you don't, you don't want to do this. Don't do this. Don't do this right away. All right, guys. Now let's go over your heroes. So if we take a look, let let me let me take a three star hero right here. So, for example, I have I have this hero right here, right? That that's three stars. We go over here. Now, in order to enhance your heroes, meaning level them up, you need to use penguins on them to really get those levels up. pretty much for the heroes that you have you're gonna be gearing them up right away they're gonna give you lots of free gear like for example right here on my destina they gave me this free hp gear set for free you're gonna be getting a lot of great gear sets just to begin with right away you know 75 epic gear right away which is amazing uh for vildred i have like once again 75 epic gear so you're getting a bunch of stuff you get 70 gear for free spirit tiaria for free they, they just give it to you um, it's really, really nice. So all you need to do is, honestly, in the beginning, is just concentrate on attack. Attack is really nice on, like, your main attack units. And then for your other units, you can focus focus on, like, HP defense. But don't even worry too much about it. Just, just put something on them that's, like, decent. And then focus on trying to gear them in the future. I'm going to do a more of a gear guide later on. But this is what I suggest you focusing on. Just Put some gear on them. Put an artifact on them that might may be useful to them, um, and that should be fine. Because a lot of these other things are very specific and need a more of a detailed explanation and guide for. So I'm gonna explain that later on. Another big thing that you guys should focus on as well is having a good farmer unit. Now, in the beginning, you get this hero called Free Spirit Tiaria, and you get her in Chapter Two of the main story, and she's a very good farmer. And the reason why she's a good farmer is because she has an AOE attack, meaning an area of the effect attack, which is a lot of area of the effect damage on multiple enemies. And this is a really good way to farm. Um, and so why you're going to be farming, you're going to be doing a lot of farming in this game. And trust me, like there's going to be another farming guide that I'm going to be making. But farming is super important. So really focus on a farming unit. For me, my farming unit and also my six star unit right now that I six starred is Vildred because he has a consistent AoE attack and the animation is extremely fast and he just cleaves things extremely well. So I use him on cleave teams and I use him as a farmer. And he's one of my my main like strongest unit right now. And so pretty much I covered so far side story, events. Um, I covered hunt. Now let's talk about labyrinth. Labyrinth is really, really important. And it's important because you're getting these really, really nice beginner armors that are going to pretty much expedite your pro progression. Now, yeah, the, these these gears are great. You know, these, these are awesome. They're epic 57 and epic 42, and they're really, really strong. You can equip them to your, your units, and they're great. They're really, really strong. I really suggest farming those out. They're really, really good. And there's obviously other labyrinths that you're going to lock here. And you're going you're to get even more labyrinths here where you can unlock even better gear that's strong. So make sure you're doing this because you are you might be missing out on really, really good gear that you could farm out. Every day you get one of these labyrinth compasses, make sure you're using them and getting those labyrinths done. 
Now, next thing is spear altars. Spear altars, as we were talking about character progression wise, you're going to need to do this to get these runes. Now, these runes are going to be used to pretty much get more um, red stars on your characters, which means awakenings. And awakenings are amazing, obviously, because they're going to give your characters better stats, like better attack, better defense, HP, whatever your characters are focused on. Like Vildred is more of an attack character. So his awakening is going to give him, as you can see here, more attack, 6% more attack, more health, attack. It's great. So you're going to need these runes. Now, I'm not going to really talk about Catalyst too much. I'm going to make a whole separate video, but you're going to pretty much be farming this throughout the entire game just because these are so important to max awaken your characters. But yeah, these runes are super important. You can see here, like we need, you just need these runes for these upgrades because you're getting, you're, you, you're, you might be missing out on a lot of stats. So I pretty much covered everything like for beginners in terms of like what you guys should get done. I didn't really talk too much about Hall of Trials just because that's a little more um, later on in the game. You're going to be definitely getting more into that, but it is amazing. I'm going to cover that once again in separate videos. There's so much stuff to talk about. There's so much more stuff to cover in this game, like such as like how to promote your characters to six stars, all that amazing stuff like that is going to require quite a bit of detail in separate videos but so hopefully this beginner's guide gives you guys a bit of an idea of what to do from the beginning of the game and how to start progressing the main thing you want to start focusing on as i said right from the beginning of the video is start doing these adventures and get those region rewards make sure to max complete each chapter to get those sky stones those quest rewards all that good stuff and make sure you're doing your pvp every day um and another thing is make sure you're getting this reputation done these daily, daily things you need to do because with these daily rep reputation, you're getting a lot of these amazing rewards, right? We're, we're getting, we're getting gold. You're getting gold. You're getting sky stones, bookmarks, more sky stones, a lot of great stuff. And a lot of the sky stones and bookmarks you're going to get are actually going to come also from the reputation. So make sure to take, take a look at that. And uh, yeah, definitely focus on, I would say, adventure is the most important. Focus on PvP. Focus on getting some beginner hunts done, beginner hunts and beginner spear altar just for runes. And yeah, that, that's what you should mainly focus on. And also do your labyrinths. I can't believe I forgot to mention Abyss. Oh my god. Abyss is extremely important. And the reason why it's important is because the rewards are amazing. You get three of these abyss guides every day and look at these rewards let's go from floor one floor one look 30 flame runes 30 frost runes you're getting all these runes for awakening your characters getting a star on them and then you're getting summons from here bookmarks you're getting these phantasma penguins lots of penguins molagors amazing things here okay so make sure you're doing your abyss every day. And if you can't actually complete them yet, purify them because you're going to still get stigma and you're going to get extra gold out of it. So make sure you're doing that. All right, guys, hopefully this guide helped you guys out and make sure to join my USA gang discord where I announce giveaways, my streams, all that stuff happens there. And we also hang out there. So make sure to join and not miss out on any of those amazing things. And last but not least, follow me on Twitch because I stream almost every day. I'm always streaming. So make sure to join. Um, let's hang out there. Okay. So thanks guys. Peace out and stay tuned for more Epic seven.